From Hollywood, here's the game where knowledge is king and lady luck is queen. It's the Joker's Wild. And now, here's the host of our show, Jack Sparrow. Thank you very much for welcome once again to the Joker's Wild. Those of you who were with us on our last program know that we crowned a champion who won five games, an automobile, and pandemonium broke loose in our studio, mostly from the contestant himself. We're glad to welcome him back. Jay, would you reintroduce our champion? You bet, Jack. Our current champ has winnings that total over $10,900. He's our construction worker, Phil Gilbert. Phil, delighted to have you back with us. You won five games in a row. You're winning over $10,000, including a car. And, yeah. of course, you can start now to play your bonus game in a moment bonus and then game. start on your second series of five. Where do you work, actually, Phil? Um, I work for uh, a friend of mine. He's a contractor. Uh, I don't know if it's all right to say his name. But sure, why not? Derek Northcross. He's, What's uh, the name? Derek Northcross. That'll He's cost you contract. $400 because you said it twice. <laughs> oh, well. And it so was he, worth it. You're in the construction field and you yeah. work for him. Yeah. And you talked a little bit about your young lady friend on the program yesterday. Where is she? She's not with you, rooting you on. Oh, she's, she's right now, she's audition she's not auditioning, she's rehearsing for a play that's... Uh, she's an actress? Yeah, she's an actress, and she's got a very, very big play. Yeah, that's where in the be play? In Pasadena. Oh, in the Pasadena Playhouse? Yeah, I think that's where it is. I'm not sure. I see. But I've got opening tickets, but it's a big deal. You know, there's a lot of excitement, but she yeah, just well, couldn't get Yeah, you've made kind of a big splash yourself here on the <laughs> program. You. And, Thank Phil, you. I'm going to give you an opportunity now to come over and increase your winnings. After all, you're only at $10,910. Come on over yeah. and beat the devil. Here you go again. All right. Few days. Are you still as excited as ever? Oh, no. Or are you calmed down? <laughs> no, I'm as excited as ever. Oh, you're not calm enough. <laughs> I, I, I couldn't tell. I thought that you were all calmed down. No, this is, this is something fantastic. There's nothing like it. It's the greatest show on earth. I, I, this is it. This is the big times. <laughs> <laughs> this is the Joker's Wild. You this is the think. Joker's Wild, and up there is also a guy uh, named, known as the Devil. You're going to try to avoid him. If you can get to $1,000 by spinning these wheels and avoid the devil, not only will you get $1,000 more, but these gifts will be yours as a bonus. First of all, a spectacular sunglass collection of Pic Solaire by Yves Saint Laurent. Exciting fashion for your eyes created in France. Hand-cut frames with gradient lenses and captivating colors. It's a Pic Solaire by Yves Saint Laurent. Also, Botany 500 Fashions for the Gentleman. European influence and form flattering designer details created with fine American craftsmanship from Botany 500. And Phil will fly you to the British Crown Colony of Hong Kong! Located in the southeast coast of China, the words Hong Kong mean fragrant harbor. Hong Kong is also one of the most important ports in the world. While there, you'll stay at the Hyatt Regency Hong Kong in the heart of Kowloon. Rooftop nightclub and gourmet Hugo's inside. Fantastic shopping and nightlife outside. This bonus round is worth over $3,100 in cash and prizes. Oh, it's right. coming close. What do you mean it's coming close? Oh, it's just this one thing I've got to have, and it's coming closer. It's one thing you have to have? Is that a secret? Are you supposed to tell me? It's a secret right when I've got it. I'll let everybody know, but it's a secret right now. But it's coming closer. It's coming closer. <laughs> I can't believe that it's coming closer. I didn't think it was possible for you to keep a secret. <laughs> oh, you'd be surprised. <laughs> You won't get into that. Well, one, one thing we must get into, when Jay Stewart, our announcer, announced the fact that you were going to get some clothes, you, I thought you, oh. would, you went into paroxysms of delight. Don't you have any clothing? Oh, well, I've got some, but everybody needs a wardrobe. It's just everybody needs one, and I need a wardrobe. And Botany I, I've watched Botany 500 shows, and they're great. I love the wardrobes. I love it. It's great. It's well, great. well, go ahead and win All it. Right. All right, give him a spin. All right, come on. Triple. Oh. You have 50, 75, and 100. <laughs> Usual thing, you have $225 if you quit. If you go on and the devil comes up, anybody out here to help you this Where's time? Where's my buddy Derek? He's Where's out there. Buddy Derek, Derek, buddy, where are you? Derek. Put your hands up, Derek. Oh, okay. Derek's your buddy. And yeah. What should he do, Derek, an audience? Stop or go right now. <laughs> Derek said he's... he's Go, ran and eat it. She's right there with me. She's yelling loud. Okay. So here it goes. Here it goes. Go. Right. Here Risking go. 225. You have 100. Oh. 
wasn't me. Careful. It wasn't to be this time. All right. Nonetheless, you played five games. You've got over ten thousand dollars. We start now a series of five new games. If you can win five more games, you'd win another car. <laughs> Plus, which you're not going to get off this stage when you do. When it does come your turn to leave, without telling us this hidden innermost secret, we'll all wait for that and the next game after these words. As you know, Phil and all the players who win five games in a row get this lovely gift. It's a brand new car! A brand new Chevrolet four-door hatchback. The new rear door makes it easy to get into the back seat where you'll find lots of leg room. The Chevette four-door hatchback has the comfort and convenience you want in a small car. And it's furnished by Chevy Chevette. Five players have faced Phil Gilbert. Five players have gone down to defeat. Player number six coming up. Will she survive? First, let's find out who she is, Jay. She is an investigator and a student, Jack. Her hobbies are photography and swimming. Meet Debbie Ditto. <laughs> Hi, Debbie. Hi, Jack. Is your name really Debbie Ditto, it's Debbie Ditto? Deb it's Debbie Debbie. Debbie Debbie, 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 Debbie Ditto, right. Ditto? Ditto Ditto. That's a most unusual name. I know, I hear it every day. <laughs> <laughs> you hear it every day, twice. Every day, mean. at least ten times a day, right? What what kind of work do you do, Debbie? Ditto, uh, Debbie I'm a child Ditto? support investigator with the district attorney's office, and we kind of hunt for the daddies and mommies that aren't paying their child support. So if you're in hiding, <laughs> Phil, what do you what, what do you look? Why is Phil looking so worried? Uh, we'll never tell. Is that the secret you Patrick? wanted to tell us? St. Patrick? <laughs> no. No? No, no. Do you no. mind playing as a lady like this? I don't mind at all. She's going to be a lovely I'm challenger. Gonna I'm going to beat him. You're going to beat him. Yes, it's about right. time he's had enough. Okay, no. five ladies have been defeated. Here comes lady number six. And these are the categories. They are potluck can be any category. All about languages. Capitals. Then we have real names. And finally, the gay 90s. Okay, game number six. Deborah Ditto, you're up. Good luck. Thank you. Come on, Joker. You have capitals, all about languages, and a pair. Uh, I'll take all about languages for a hundred, Jack. What is the Hebrew word that can mean hello, goodbye, and peace? Shalom. Shalom is right. You have a hundred dollars. Start of your sixth game, Phil Gilbert. Good luck. Right, jokers, here we go. Joker. Joker. Capitals and all about languages. I'll take all about languages for a hundred, Jack. A delegate to the United Nations may address the General Assembly in any language if he provides a translation into one of the five official languages. English is one of these five. Name any one of the other four languages. French. French, Chinese, Russian, and Spanish. Right. Tied it up, a hundred apiece. Second round, your spin, Debbie. Come on, Jokers. All about languages, potluck and real names. Um, I'll take potluck for a hundred. The United States... Oh, 50, I'm sorry. 50, I'm sorry, yes. Only $50 category. The United States National Library receives one-third of all federal library endowments. What is this library's official name? Library of Congress? That's the one. You have $150. <laughs> Bill Gilbert. All right. Here we go. Joker. Hot Joker. 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 And a triple. All right. Um, let's see. I'm going to go for pot luck for 200 Jack. Okay. This question about pot luck is about pots. No, I'm kidding you. <laughs> It could be any category at all. A treacherous, a treacherous, I'll do anything to get this Phil upset. <laughs> a treacherous cape lying 30 miles off the mainland of North Carolina is known by the nickname Graveyard of the Atlantic. For $100 to $200 more, name the cape. Hatteras? Yes, that's right. You go to $300. Or $150 to $300, you are to spin again. Deborah Ditto. Come on, Joker. Joker, Joker. 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 For 200, Jack. You did say for 200? Okay. For $200, what's the capital city of Cuba? Havana. Right, you're at $350. Your spin, Phil Gilbert. Am I on Joker's? Gay 90s, a pair and a triple. Come on, Joker. Well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take uh, gay 90s for uh, 200. Yeah. This is a tough Might one, well I assume you don't feel you know much about gay 90s. Well, you know, that's life sometimes. We're going to go for it, though. All right. Two for it's 200. Tough decision. You're going all the way. All the way. I caution you now that if you answer this correctly, you will have $500 and you'll have won another game. But if you miss it, and this is the first time you've really hesitated on a category, right. so I assume you are not 
pr proficient in this category. We'll see what happens. If you miss it, Debbie could win the game because she has $350. Right. At any rate, here is the question. Caution the audience, please. James Buchanan Brady, a renowned financier of the gay 90s, was given a particular nickname because of the many jewels he wore. Oh. For $500, oh. which would bring you up to $11,410, oh. what was the nickname? Diamond Jim! You got it, $11,410. Congratulations, Phil Gilbert. That's game number six, $11,410 to your credit and a chance at another bonus game and an opportunity to avoid the devil again. As for you, Debbie Ditto, we're sorry that we have to say we're sorry, we're sorry, we're sorry, we're sorry, we're sorry. Backstage will be some nice consolation prizes. Let's say goodbye to Debbie Ditto. And Phil, you come on back here and try to beat this devil. Here he comes. Tell us your secret yet? No. Yeah, no, we're getting closer. It's we are? closer. We're getting closer. I mean, is it? I mean, can I guess? I mean, is it like if you get to twenty thousand or something like that? Yes. Something like that. Something like that. Something like that. It's a very special kind of thing to me. I just. We, yeah. It's just special. It's special. We have a whole new game show going here called Guess Phil's Secret. <laughs> Guess? No, no, no. All right, no. Phil, we have the same prizes for you. A sunglass collection, the men's clothing. You remember Botany you talked about? Yeah. And the trip to Hong Kong where you said you could practice your Japanese. Oh, I think I they speak the mostly Chinese. Oh, Chinese, whatever. They sound similar. Why, do you speak Japanese? A little. My dad taught me. Your dad taught yeah. you? taught me some Japanese. You know, a little Russian, a little Chinese. Whatever. If I ever go anywhere, I'll be able to say hello, goodbye, and uh, can I dial this number? Or something like that. You know, so I, it's great. It's great. Would you, lie, would you mind learning so if you can't, here you go to Hong Kong and say in Chinese, I won this money on the Joker's <laughs> Wild? I'd be pleased. All right. So See if you can win it first. Here you got to avoid the devil. All right. This is the big one. Yeah, this is the big this one. This is the big one. This is for the close. Uh -huh. Here we go. All right. You have 25, 100, and 50. Well, your friend's still out here? He's he didn't run out, did you? Please. For 175, what should he do? He's stopping. Yeah. How are you doing? He's screaming. Okay, you're going. I'm Risking going. 175. Go. 25, 25, 35. You got $300. If you stop now, what's it going to be? No. Big risk of the devil. Put it back. Let's do it. Going. Okay, he's going. He's going. Come on, baby. There you have 175. Go on up. Look where you are, my. I've got to. It's, Why? It's too close. It's just too close. I've got to stop. You made this mistake once before, remember? I, I, and you, we gave you a, a, a free spin, and remember, you would have won it. I don't want to talk you into this, but you're so close. I, uh, I, I got to stop. I've got to stop. Okay, Phil. All right. Let's give him his money. He's entitled. 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 800, 900, 920. $925. We add that to what you won. Hold on, Phil. You are now winning. Tell me. In cash. Tell me. And prizes. $12,335. It's We'll be back for more right after oh, these commercial messages right here. Stop the torture and frustration. Phil Gilbert has just won his sixth game and now has a grand total, in case you've tuned in late, and now is winning a grand total of $12,335. Seven is usually a lucky number. This is his seventh game. Let's find out if he can win against this challenger. Our next player is a homemaker and executive assistant, Jack. Her hobbies are theater and bowling. Meet Susie Bass. Hi, Susie. 
I've asked all the other players who have been faced with this young man. I'll ask you the same thing. How do you feel about fighting him in a battle well, of knowledge? Never, he's never met a bass yet, and this is the first one. <laughs> he's in trouble. My daddy taught me how to catch him, but not play against him. Yeah, you got ah. it. <laughs> well, this will be a very fishy game, to say the least. <laughs> Susie, uh, I understand you're a bowler. With whom do you bowl? With my hunter, my husband. With your what? My hunter. We put ERs on the end of everything. Instead of honey, it's hunter. You know, Suzer, the whole thing. You mean you're a basser? A basser. <laughs> you got it. That could get you in a lot of trouble in certain places. <laughs> Probably. Who's the better bowler, basser? Well, it's kind of... <laughs> it's kind of a debatable point. We kind of go back and forth. Most of the time, he's about 15 points ahead of me. You know, but I'll catch him one. So then days. you're used to a man beating you. No, I'm used to beating them when they least expect it, like now. Let's find out if this determined lady can beat the young, energetic Phil Gilbert. Here are the categories we'll be using. They are want ads, followed by rivers, rebels and rebellions, bearded personalities, and romantic movies. Challenger goes first. Susie Bass, you're up. Good luck. Thank you. Bearded personalities, romantic movies, and want ads. I'll take romantic movies for 50, Jack. All right. Henry Winkler stars in this 1978 movie as a funny professional wrestler who makes good in a big way. For $50, name this romantic comedy. Um. Can't oh. do it? You'll pick up $50 if you can tell me, Phil. The one and only? That's the one, right. And you have $50. Now for his first spin, here's the one and only, Phil Gilbert. Oh, come on, Joker. Joker. Bearded personality, Joker and romantic movies. Well, um, I'm going to try uh, bearded personalities for 100, Jack. Name the first American president to wear a beard in office. Oh, um, Harrison. Nope. You'll pick up $100 if you can tell me, Susie. Was it Jefferson? Nope. It was Abraham Lincoln. Oh. <laughs> And it's your spin, oh, yes, Susie. Every time. <laughs> Joker, one ads, and a triple. Well, I guess I'm going to have to take one ads for uh, 200. Okay. Which biblical sea captain might have placed this ad? Wanted. Passengers for sea voyage to Mount Ararat. Couples only. Bring rain gear. Noah. Noah's right. And you have 200 dollars and she leads, Phil Gilbert Spin. Want to add Joker and romantic movies? Um, I'm going to go back to, uh, well, let's go to Want Ads for 100. All right. Which character from the movie Star Wars might have placed this ad? Wanted ear, nose, and throat specialist for Lord of the Galactic Empire. Have heavy breathing problems. <laughs> it's Darth Vader. That's correct. And you have $150. Score 250. All right, Susie. Okay. Rebels and Rebellion, romantic movies and a pair. Romantic movies for 100, please, Jack. Correct answer would bring you to $300 and put you well in the lead. Actor Warren, B Warren Beatty starred in a romantic film of 1975, which was the story of a Beverly Hills hairstylist invo involved with three of his clients. Name the film. Shampoo. Shampoo is correct. And you go to $300. Name that hairstylist is not Little Joe of Sunset Boulevard. All right, your spin. Joker. Joker. Romantic movies, one act and a pair. We'll go romantic movies for a hundred, Jack. Okay. This 1977 film, based on a novel by Sidney Sheldon, tells the story of two girls named Noel and Catherine and their love for the same man. Name the film. Uh, Julia? I don't know. No, Julia? I'm sorry, that is not right. You'll pick up a hundred dollars if you can tell me, Susie. Turning Point? Nope. The Other Side of Midnight. Score stands, and for one of the few times, Phil is trailing 300 to 150. Can he hold out and win this game, or will he lose? We'll find out after this. <laughs> Susie and Phil, and especially you, Phil, you mad, impetuous young man, I would like very much to say that we have time to finish this oh, game. Yeah. Unfortunately, it wouldn't be fair to either of you if we rushed you through your answers because we have actually less than a minute to play, and I don't think we could do two spins and two categories, oh, so we're going to have to, unfortunately, ask you both to come back to the next program. Susie, can you do that? That would be just dandy. Oh, you'll love it, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Phil, you can go home and study a lot and, uh, and uh, see, see your Aunt Anita and your girlfriend and get some advice. 
<laughs> but you will come back to the next program? Oh, absolutely, Jack. Right. Absolutely. If necessary, you can come on your bicycle, all right? <laughs> I'll take All right, I'll take when you come road. back, we will pick this game up with a score. $300 for Susie, $150 for you, Phil. It's going to be Susie's spin. This is the worst shape you've been in so far, Phil. And your crown, your title is at stake. However, we applaud you and congratulate you. With all your histrionics, you still have managed to win $12,335. Oh, Congratulations oh. to you and Susie. We'll look forward to you on the next program. Thank Those you. of you watching, sure be with us to find out whether this young man's finished or not. Jack Barry saying so long for the joke of the wild. Game Show Network wants to hear from you. So please write to us at Game Show Network, Post Office Box 805, Culver City, California, 90232-0805. We hope to hear from you soon. Some of our departing contestants will also receive Bonami Polishing Cleanser, recommended by major manufacturers of cookware, fixture, and appliances. Cleans without scratching, Bonami Polishing Cleanser. And from Peter Paul, York Peppermint Patties, the cool crisp combo of mint and dark chocolate. Bite into a York Peppermint Patty and get the sensation. Also, rice a the big flavor side dish that's so quick, so easy. rice a the one you saute and simmer to flavor perfection. rice a the San Francisco treat. Plus, World Book Encyclopedia two-volume dictionary containing 2,400 pages, 3,000 illustrations, and more than 225,000 entries. <laughs> The Children's Wild is a Jack Berry and Van Enright production.